Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mayra. Good evening, Jorge. Good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening teacher. teacher. How are you? How are you this more this uh evening? Good? Fine, teacher. Okay. Good, yes, teacher. teacher, we're fine. Excellent, excellent. How was your day today? How was your day? Maida, how was your day? Um, my day is very hard. It was hard? Yes, it's hard. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, why, there was a lot of work to do or, or what? Why was it hard? Um, for the work. Okay, so you had a lot of work today? A lot of work, a lot of work, yes. Mm, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Um, okay. What about what about you, Jorge? How was your day? I think it's busy. <laughs> uh, Vilma, how about you? How was your day? Good, good. Yeah, you had a good day. Okay, excellent. Okay, hello, Carlos Alberto. How are you? Not very well, Miss. <laughs> no. No, I oh. feel sick. I feel a little sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think it's it's a it's a flu. It's a flu. I don't know flu. Yeah, yeah. But um, I hope tomorrow I. Uh, how do you say I'm gonna say? I will be better. Other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fierce gut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've I've heard lots of people um, have been feeling sick. I I think maybe it might be like the change of weather. I I think I don't know because yeah uh, yeah I yeah. think so yeah, yeah I think so because it, it's been so so hot and and now I think because of the um, now it's like rainy and everything so maybe that's why i'm thinking yeah yeah miss yeah i'm sorry to hear that um like do you feel like like uh that your throat is bothering you no no i i have a, a dose cough cough yeah mm -hmm. cough. Oh. yeah i i take uh, i took or mm. how do you say tome? Oh, yeah, it's I, gone, right? yeah. I took, I yeah. took, I took a pills. I took oh. a uh, yeah, a couple Good. pills, and, and I, I think, I think tomorrow, uh, very well. I'm, okay, I okay. I hope so yeah. too. I hope so too. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Ms. Okay. Good. Good. Um. And hello, Sandra. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, I'm okay, teacher. I'm okay today. You're okay. All right. Are you sure? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can hear it in your voice. 
Okay, all right. Um, is are you tired? Are you are you getting sick, or it's something else? I think I I I I feel um a little sick. Hmm. You too. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Um. Just a lot of rest to get a lot of rest and and um. A, I always say that uh, if you can do like for example some um, some salt water gargles that that can help a lot to clear your your throat. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. I hope you feel better. Yeah. You. You're welcome. And um, hello, Ana Victoria. Hello, teacher. Good How evening. are? Good evening. How are you? I am good. I I am a little sick. Mm. Oh really? Yes. Uh, you too. Oh my goodness, everybody's so <laughs> sick. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know what that's like. You guys, you, you guys heard me. La you know, I've been really, really bad. Um, I've I've been really, really sick. I'm getting much better now, but. I know it's horrible. It's the weather, I think, it's for the weather because rainy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Because I got sick because of the weather too. Um, it was like one day I was, I got wet. It was at night, and I got wet, and it was raining really, really hard, and it was cold, and I was waiting for the bus for like half an hour. So then, yeah, then I got sick. So, yeah, I, I, I know the weather influences you a lot. I yeah. hope you feel better. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Marlon, Daniel, how are you? Fine, teacher. Okay, good, good. You're not getting sick, right? Marlon, are you getting sick? Sorry, teacher. I don't. I don't know. It's in that back. Uh, are you getting sick? Sick? You you know sick? Ma Maron, do you know the word sick? Uh, you have your microphone closed, Marlon. Marlon, you have your microphones closed. I can't hear you. Sick is enfermo. So, Marlon, do you, do you know the word sick? Yes, sir. Yeah. Are you feeling sick? Ma Marlon, me escucha. Yes, teacher. Okay, so do you know the word sick? Uh, no. No, okay. Sick, for example, is when, to give you an example, when you are like coughing, <laughs> right? Okay. Right? Or, um, you know, or you have like a fever. Are you sick? No, teacher. No? Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. How, how was your day at work, Marlon? Um, so, so. So, so. Uh, it's very, very, um, how to say, cansado, estresado. Tired, stressed. Stressed. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the interaction of the People is, mm -hmm. uh, is very muy, um, eh, estresado es stressful. Oppression. Stressful. Stressful. Mm, I see. Okay. Okay. No problem. Well, I hope you feel. You feel better, Marlon. I hope you relax a little bit and feel better. Okay. Hello, 
Tara, how are you? Fine, teacher. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day? My day uh, was well. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear the last part. Your day was what? Uh, my day was uh, very, very good. Very good. Oh, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Okay. All right. And um, hello, Denise. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are? How How was your day, Denise? It was a good day today. Oh, good. I'm glad yeah. to hear that. Okay, yeah. excellent. Excellent. Okay. All right. Hello, Maida. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day, Maida? Mm, my day is very hard, stressful. Um, Mm. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that, Maida. Yeah, so it seems <laughs> like, yeah. I hope uh, you are able to relax a little bit and tomorrow it will be better, hopefully. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Hello, Ismail, how are you? Hello, teacher. Very good. Good, good. How was um how was your day? Mm, well, it was um, relaxed. I have a relaxed oh, day. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, the work don't can be hard. It was not. Was not hard. Hard. The work oh. was not hard. Okay, okay. I'm glad to hear that that it was it was a pretty good day. Okay, good, Thank good. You. All right. Hello, Anna Victoria. How are you? Hello, teacher. <laughs> how is your how are you today? Good. Do um do you ask me before? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I was just noticing though that you were um, the um, I was working in my house. In that. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, do you do you always work at home from home? Uh, can you repeat for please? Do you always work from home? No, sometimes. Um, I work in my house and other days I work in the office. Of depend the activities. Oh, okay, okay, okay. In That's other good. days I work in the field. field. Yeah, the I field. In, in the field. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, well, I'm glad that you were able to be at home today and relax a little bit. Yes. Yeah, okay. Good. Um, Raquel Elizabeth, are you there? Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, good. How was your day? Um, very good. Yeah? Okay, yeah. good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. And also Sergio? Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you, Sergio? Hi, I'm Tyra. Mm. Did you have a, a bad day today? Long day? Mm, it was okay. Mm, okay. All right. Uh, I went to play soccer. 
after work. Oh, okay. So that's why you're tired. Yes. <laughs> mm, okay. Well, at least you, you're tired because you did something that you like. Yes. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> good, good, good. Okay. Hello. Let me see who I've been said hi to. Let me see. Let me see. So, oh, hello, Carlos Eliezer. Hello, Miss. How thank are you? Good. Well, yeah, pretty good. Um, thank you for connecting. I know that you're not feeling very well, but thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, Miss. <laughs> no problem. Okay, good, good. Um, okay, I think that's everybody. Let me take um, the attendance uh, before we, we start. Okay. Um, all right, Ana Victoria Galan. Yes, I teach you. Perfect. Uh, Asalia Melanie Portillo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Reo. I'm here, please. Wonderful. Here. Thank you. Carlos Elisa Dimas. I'm here. Excellent. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Zunica. Present. Okay, thank you. Diana Jamilet de Maravilla. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Eh, Edith Adilia Hernandez. Edith Adilia Hernandez. No. Uh, Emerson Adia Reyes. Emerson. Okay. Uh, Ismael Ernest Boyat. Present teacher. Wonderful. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Perfect. Marlon Daniel Miranda. Present. Excellent. Eh, Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present. Perfect, wonderful. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Excellent. Eh, Sandra Liz, eh, Yvette Mendoza, Mendoza de Flores. Sandra Yvette Mendoza de Flores. Eh, Sara Rachel Salazar de Cosme. Present, teacher. Perfect. Eh, Sergio Chamorro Calero. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. And Vilma Elizabeth Takian. Present teacher. Wonderful. So we're only missing Edith Adilia and Emerson Adiel and Sandra Yvette Mendoza. Is that correct? No, 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 Sandra. Ah, yes. Thank you. You're right. Thank you. Okay. Second. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So we have the attendance now. Okay. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for connecting. I know that many of you are not feeling well. I know some of you are sick. I know others of you are tired. And um, but really, your um, your dedication. It's 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 shown by you know your um, the commitment that you have made. Um, you know you committed to 
to connecting and here you are. And that is showing. So thank you very much for, um, a, for, for doing that, okay? So I really, really appreciate it. Um, and we'll, we're gonna try to be as um, considerate for those of you that are sick, but you know, um, yeah. So thank you very much for, for connecting. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, um, please tell me if you are able to see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> yes, miss. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So this is the course English for Work program. It's day number 11. The date is Tuesday, May 30th, 2023. Um, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's start. Remember, um, if I ask you any questions, you can always um, tell me how I can help you in English. Okay, and you can say, excuse me, can you repeat that? Or you can say, can you speak more slowly? Or how do you spell? Or what's the answer for number four? Or how do you say da -da -da in English? Or what does, and then you say the, the, the word mean? Or how do you pronounce this word? Okay, but the idea is to always try to speak English, right? So let's try to speak English as much as possible. Okay, so let's start. Now, do you remember this conversation that we started yesterday? Remember? Did yes. we did we yes. all finish the conversation or do you need more time? We finish. You finished? Yes. Yes, all the groups finished? Yes. Are you ready to present in front of the class? Or do you want me to give you some time to present in front of the class? Class? Do you, are, you, are you ready to present in front of the class or do you need more time? In my case, teacher, I need more time. You need more time, Sandra, okay. Yes. All right, what about the rest of you? Do you need more time or are you ready? Because if, if you say that you're ready, we're gonna present in front of the class. So just tell me, are we ready? I need more time, teacher. You need more time, okay. So, Am I, do I hear correctly that the majority of you need more time? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. All right. So I'm going to put you back into your groups, your original groups. So just give me one moment while I figure this one out. <clears throat> okay, but I'm going to put you back into your breakout rooms. Um, I'm just going to see if I have it correct. So in so in the first group, I have Asalia with Carlos Eliezer. In group number two, I have Denise with, with Diana Jamilet. Group number three, I have Mayra uh, with Sergio. 
In group number four, I have Ana Victoria with Sara Rachel. Group number five, I have Jorge Ernesto with Marlon Daniel. In group number six, I have Ismael, Ismael Ernesto Boyat. with Sandra Yvette. It's okay. Group number seven, I have Raquel Elizabeth with Vilma Elizabeth. Elizabeth, sorry, Elizabeth, sorry. <laughs> okay, and um, Carlos Alberto, I think you were not here yesterday, right? No estaba aquí ayer, Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. I, I lost. <laughs> okay, no problem. So I'm going to put you with another group. I'll put you with uh, Ana Victoria and Sarah Rachel. And Edith, Ad Adelia, you were not here yesterday, right? What I think? Yeah, you were not here yesterday, right? No. Okay, so I will put you with Asalia. Eh, Melanie and Carlos Eliezer. Okay? Okay, All right. Okay, so how much more time do you need? Do you need five minutes, 10 minutes? Five minutes. How much? Five minutes. Five minutes? Five minutes, five minutes everybody? Five minutes? Okay, because remember, oh. we're going to be presenting in front of the class. So in five minutes, we'll come back and we'll present, okay? So I'm open in all the rooms right now. Uh, and write, uh, write the, 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 uh, the, the teacher yesterday, uh, her give, give, uh, give the, a picture. In the picture, uh, we have a, a one, a conversation. And, and we have a, a three three topic and weather holidays and pests and we uh, we could uh, the uh, complete or add the 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 new uh, I don't know new uh, <laughs> Sí, <risa> idea. Tenemos que seguir. Es lo que, una... lo que mandaron al, en el WhatsApp. Eso es. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, tenemos sure. que hablar de algo. Y hablar de, de comida. Uh, de comida. De que uno hace o de lo que uno come. No, the topic is. Is uh, holidays um, in Spanish is uh, día festivos, creo. And pez is mascotas, and weather is uh, clima. So uh, we have the the complete or or add the the new um, new conversation uh, for. Uh, after the the uh, the picture, I share the the picture. Uh, take me one one minute. Uh, 
Y solo es conversar o vamos a escribir algo. Uh, for me, uh, we need write. Pero esa, esa conversación la mandaron mandar ayer en el grupo, entonces nosotros tenemos que como que continuar esa, esa conversación. Eso le quería decir en inglés. Pero no me yeah. entendí. Sí, la verdad no entendí mucho. Vale, pero también lo voy a ver. Es que, es que I working. Permítame, ya, ya voy. Um, estoy confundida. Azalia, ¿usted no estaba con el grupo al día de ayer? Es um, teacher, lo único que que nosotros hablamos de comida, o sea, de las actividades que hacíamos. No en un tema en sí, de los tres que, de los tres ejemplos que pusieron, no hablamos de eso, sino que de... O sea, small talk. The idea is to make small talk. So, it's to have a, a conversation about... Just having a conversation about anything. Uh, uh, you... Any any topic. Y yeah, like uh, yeah, uh, it, any any small anything that is small talk. You just uh, you just continue the conversation with small talk. Yeah, uh, is necessary right right the, the conversation. No, no, you just have to. You just okay. have to present it in front of the class. But but you uh, did the conversation yesterday. Yes, yes. Yes? Uh, yes. Okay. okay. That's that's what you're gonna present. What what you did yesterday. Uh, okay. 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 Thank you. All right. Okay. Um uh, what do you think um about um, Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can finish. 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 Okay. 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 Do you want to practice the conversation? Okay. And I don't know if if we can do <laughs> if we can do this, but we did a script. Teacher? No. Sorry, what was your question? I did that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if if it's correct, but we did an an script. Uh, sure. Yeah. Although small talk is is more like more like improvised, right? Oh, okay, okay. But um, but sure. Yeah. If you have a script, uh, a script, that's okay too. Okay. Okay. okay are you Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Let me just go and check how the other groups are doing. Okay. Okay. Do you want to practice, Diana? Okay. Um, what happened in this group? Teacher, uh, we finished. Okay, so you're you're ready? Yes. yes. Ready. Okay. Um all right, I'll just gonna go check the other groups if they're ready too. Okay, teacher. Sure. 
or parrot. Not love me. Okay. Not love me. <laughs> oh, yes. no. The parrots. It's a beautiful parrot. Uh, in my case, I had a pet. Um, I don't remember. I think was uh, five years ago. I think. Uh, my pet, I my pet was a uh, uh, chow chow. Chow it's chow a, is yeah, it's a chow chow. Chow is very here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, and uh, and uh, the 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 small word. Yes. Um. So so. Ah. Okay. Okay. I I have troubles with pronunciation and listening. Mm. I think write and read. Uh, I very good. I think, but speaking and listening, I I don't. I don't. <laughs> yes. Uh, boys, um, are you ready with the? Uh, are you ready to present now? Yes, yes teacher. Yeah. We finish. Perfect. All right, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. okay. Hi guys. Uh, Hi teacher. Are you ready to present? Yes teacher, I'm ready. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay. Hello girls. Are are you ready to present? Do you think what? Yes. yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Bye. Do you think? Okay, guys, um, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to start uh, presenting the conversation in front of the class. Okay, so we're going to do it with, um, you know, in, in alpha, well, in, in, in order. Okay, so um, we are going to start with group number one, which is um, Asalia, Carlos, and Carlos Elicer, and Edith. Okay, Miss. Um, Hello, Carlos. Hello, Asalia. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, and you, how are you, Edith? Hello. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Uh, very well, thank you for asking. Uh, what is your hobby? Uh, my, my, ho my hobby is... Uh, my hobby my hobby is... to the movies. It's going to the movies. And you? Uh, my hobby is to listen to music and watch movies, anything. And what is your hobby, Asalia? No, listen, Carlitos. Uh, what is your hobby? My favorite hobby is uh, talking with my children and watch TV. 
in studying English? Hola. It's great. Um, where you? you uh, sleep and listen music and watch uh, the movie? And what is your favorite food? My favorite food is lasagna of chicken. My favorite, repeat please. Um, Edith, what is your favorite food? Um, my favorite food is chicken. Así que era eso porque la, por las, por las cintas. Sí, ah, solo. Ok. Um, Permítame. Only that, uh, teacher. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Round of applause. Very good. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, remember that small talk is um, conversation that you make with, with somebody that you don't know very well. Um, because, you know, you don't really make small talk with, with your family, your friends, right? Small talk is more like conversation that you make with somebody that, you know, um, that you don't know very well, or like, um, maybe an acquaintance at work, at work. Do you know the word acquaintance? Not the chat. No. Repeat the question, Miss. Do you know the word acquaintance? No, Miss. No? Nobody knows the word acquaintance? No. No, Miss. Okay, just a second. Okay, do you see that, acquaintance? I wrote in the chat. Can you see that? I really know, miss. I don't have an idea. <laughs> okay, but, but you can see it, right? You can see yes, the word can... acquaintance? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, yes, okay. teacher, yes. Okay, good. Uh, anybody have an idea of what an acquaintance is? No, Miss. No? No. No? Okay, acquaintance is somebody that you know, but you just know them, um, you know, you, you know them because you know who the person is but you really don't know the person very well. So you just know them, uh, but you don't, haven't really spoken to them very much. You just, um, yeah, you know the person exists, let's say, okay? Do you, what, what is that in Spanish? When you know who a person is, but you really don't talk to them. What do you call that? When you know the person, but you don't know them well. In Spanish, what do you call that person? They are not friends. They're not your friends. It's just somebody that you know. You know they exist, but you don't have a close relationship with them. Uh, Un conocido. Un conocido, exactly. Yeah. So you know the person. You know the person exists, but you don't have a very good relationship with them. You don't know very much about them, okay? You, you, there are lots of information you don't know about them. That's an acquaintance, okay? So small talk, you make small talk with acquaintances, but you, you don't really make small talk with, um, with friends or, or family or even coworkers that you work with 
um, often. Maybe coworkers that you don't see very often, but coworkers that you see every day, probably not small talk. So my question is the following. If you make small talk with an acquaintance, would you be asking them about their hobbies? I think, I think no, Miss, because uh, uh, for example, the he is no, he's, he's not my friend, and mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's, he's just a coworker or or acquaintance. Mm -hmm. For me, it, it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so do, do would do you think it's appropriate to be asking about uh, about uh, no 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 it, it's no it, it's no mm, because of the con uh, I think because the confidence is is no is no is no. The confidence is no is no well. Okay, right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the trust level is not there yet. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So th that's why um, we have to be very careful what what small talk we make because we don't want to uh, make the person feel uncomfortable. Right. And so if we are asking them about their hobbies and um, you really don't know this person very well, they're probably going to feel a little uncomfortable. Right. Probably. I mean, I, I know I would feel uncomfortable if somebody that, you know, that I, I really don't have a very close relationship with with asks me about my hobbies. Um, I would probably uh, talk, like I would talk about my hobbies with my friends, even with coworkers, but coworkers that I see often, coworkers that I have a, a very close relationship with like every day, but a coworker that I, I see like once every week or once every month, Probably not, right? So we got to be careful there with 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 the with the topics of conversation. Yeah, I would like I would I will ask ask him uh, about, uh, for example, for the uh, his family, uh, uh, his family, his. Uh, I don't know, and uh, but the hobbies, no. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know the, for example, what kind of, what kind games do you mm -hmm. do you do you uh, play? For mm -hmm. example, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and um, even with the family thing. You can ask about family, but you got to be careful what kind of questions you ask about your family, right? So you can ask like general questions, like for example, are you married? Are you single? Do you have children? I think those are kind of like regular questions you can you can ask anybody. But then starting to ask more personal questions, like you know, um, is so you know, uh, are you close with your mom and dad? Um, you know, those kind of questions you probably want to stay away with, from, sorry, away from. <clears throat> um, you can ask questions like, uh, you know, do, do you come from a big family? That's, that would be okay. Like, you know, do you have lots of brothers and sisters? Yeah, things like that, right? That's okay. But <clears throat> talking more like about what kind of relationship you have with them, you got to be careful with. Right. So so even if the topic is OK, you have to know what kind of questions you're going to ask about. Does that make sense? Guys, does that make sense? Yes, miss. Yeah. So yes, teacher. so a topic can be OK. But even if the topic is OK, 
be careful with the kind of questions you make about that topic. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, let's continue with next group. Um, Denise and Diana. We're ready to listen to you guys. Um, hello, Diana. Hello, Denise. Hello, how are you? Very good. Um, so can you tell me something about your work? Where do you work? Okay, uh, I am working Optica and Lentia Okay, and how long have you been working there? Um, I'm working hard at 10 years. Okay, that's a lot of time. <laughs> um, do you like your job? Um, yes, yes, I do. I like work. Okay, and what's your job in? Um, I am work. Um, I am seller. Attend the claim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. And um, are you married? Do you have family? Yes, I am married. Um, I have um, a daughter. Oh, uh -huh. what's what's her what's her name? Mm, my name is Stephanie Valentina. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. And do you have, have? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a big girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's very she, She's very young. <laughs> yes. Okay, and do you have pets? Pardon? Do you In have English? pets? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> like a yes. dog or, or a cat? Yes, I want. Oh, okay, um, dog, how, many, dog. how many pets? Yes, <laughs> I, I want dog. Um, dog. <laughs> okay, what's the name of your dog? Um, Uh, uh, ah, okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you, Diana. Thank, Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right. Very good, girls. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. Okay. Um, it, it's I, I really enjoyed hearing a very conversational style, right? So instead of just making it question, answer, question, answer, it sounded very much like a conversation, just, you know, very improvised. So very good, excellent. Okay, and, and I like, see, um, for example, Denise, she started asking about questions about her family. But if you notice, they were not, they, she didn't go too personal, right? She asked general questions like, you know, uh, she asked about her daughter, you know, how her daughter was, her name, but that was it. She didn't go further, right? And so that's what I'm talking about, being careful of, of um, how much you ask. So the, the topic is okay, but still you have to be careful how much you ask about that topic. Okay, so very good. Excellent. Okay, let's move on to the next uh, the next group is um, Mayra, Elizabeth, and Sergio. Okay, Mayra, excuse hello. me, where is the, hello, excuse me, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thank you. By the way, are you attend, attending to? Yes, I am. Mm. Do you like text? Yes, I like. Do you, do you have a pet? Yes, I have a cat. It's nice, it's Chiara. 
Great. That's it, teacher. Teacher, um, in, in which case, we understood uh, that we were going to continue the conversation, uh, the practice with a partner. Right. And you understood correctly. Yeah, very um, good. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. All right, round of applause. Excellent. Okay, very good. Okay, that, that was good. That was very good. You continue the conversation. Now, what you got to be careful with is how you're going to introduce new topics, right? Because when you are making small, you're, you're, you're making small talk and everything, you got to make sure that you, you are smooth into asking certain questions, right? So just think about it. If you're, um, you know, if somebody that you were acquaintance, an acquaintance um, started talking to you and they say, oh, so are you going to the seminar? Yeah, I'm going to the seminar. Okay. If you're going to continue making small talk, what questions would you say or what would you say to introduce the small talk? Because if somebody just starts asking me out of nowhere about my pets, I'd be like, hmm, this is strange, right? Now, if if we can, if for example, if we are, um, I don't know, we are, um, outside of the uh, of the hotel, and you're asking, oh, you know, is is the is the is the seminar here? Yes, it's on the on the what was the which floor? The second floor? I don't know. I don't remember. In the middle, what floor it was? Guys, what was the floor? It is on the second, second floor. floor. Second floor. Second okay, floor. yeah. So okay, so yeah, it's on the second floor. Oh, good. Oh, look at that cute little dog over there. Oh, yeah, that's so cute. Do you have any pets? Oh, yeah, I have a dog. Oh, really? Uh, do, what about you? Oh, no, I don't have a dog, but I have a cat. Okay, so then that, that, that'd be okay, right? Because there's a reason to talk about the cats and the dogs and the pets, right? Because you saw a, a dog over there. Oh, look at that dog over there. So just make sure that when you make small talk, that you are smooth and natural making the small talk. Does that make sense? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. I mean. All right, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent guys. Um, okay, so let's go on to Group number four, Ana Victoria, Carlos, Alberto, and Sara. Okay. Hi, Ana Victoria. Hi, Sara. Hi. Hi, Carlos. Hi. How are you? Good. <laughs> How are you? What about you? Uh, I feel I feel a little sick, but I can. Yeah, yeah I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I think tomorrow I I will be I will be better. Thank I you. Hope, yeah. I hope to the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Sara, do you like do you like the music? Yes, I like. The, the, yeah. the music you, Christian. Christian music. Yes, Christian, Christian music. Christian music about you, Anna. What do you uh, yes. what? What kind uh, what kind of music okay. do you like? I like the Christian music too. And ah, okay. other, and other music I like romantic and revolutionary. Ah. <laughs> oh, I, I, I really? Know. Yes, I like. Oh, oh I like, my gosh! I like your release, for example. Romantic, uh, yeah. <laughs> romantic. Okay. okay, okay, I, I, I know. I, in my case, uh, I like all kind, all kind of music, all kind, 
type all, of music. All, all kind. All kind, yeah. And oh. I, I like to dance. Oh, yeah, I like to dance. And, uh, and Do you yeah. like dance? Do you like dance? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Interesting. <laughs> and um, uh, merengue and uh, and the salsa. Bachara? I like, I, I, yeah, I really love the merengue and salsa. I really love the oh. dance and, and, and listen. I don't, I don't uh, dancing. Huh? I don't oh, dancing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Uh, mm, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I learned to my, to my sister. Yeah, and and my and my uh, coaxing coaxing is is yes. primo really yes. Yeah? yes 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 okay yeah uh, she's uh, she she showed me uh, to dance um uh, salsa and merengue your coaxing uh, my coaxing is is primo 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 yes, yes. yeah. Okay, and then, what about what about us? <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't dance in because I don't, I don't care. I, 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 don't, I am you, not learning. You don't like? Did you don't like dance? No, I like because I don't. I don't learn. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Is okay. the same for me? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Okay, I understand. Okay, we, have, we need a coaching for learning. <laughs> okay, I understand. Okay, <laughs> I can I, I can show you then. Okay, if, if you if you want. <laughs> where do you where do you live? with you. Okay. Where do you live, okay. Carlos? The class the free <laughs> class <the> free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, one more. It's all. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Round of applause. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yes. It's not really. It's it's just conversation. It's not really. <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, very good, but yeah, see, that's how small work, small talk works, that's exactly how it works, it's improvised, it's, um, it's, it's very, um, spontaneous, and, um, yeah, it, it, like, you know, there's the opinions and we, and we like normally that's how we do a small talk, right? So we um, we give our opinion, the other person gives their opinion, we ask questions. So it's not usually so much like question, answer, question, answer, question, answer. It's more about question, answer, opinion, opinion, another question like that right so yeah that, that's exactly how it works so you could do, you guys did an excellent job very very good okay bravo okay excellent all right let's move on to the next group um which is Jorge and Marlon Okay. Okay, um, Excuse me. Where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Uh, thanks. By the way, are you attending too? Yes, I am. Very nice. I am Marlon. Nice to meet you, Marlon. My name is Jorge. Do you know what is the topic? I don't know. This is my first conference. Okay, no problem. Where are you from, by the way? I am from San Jose, Guayabal. And you? Okay, <laughs> finish. <laughs> You're going to leave him with that question? He asked, <laughs> he asked you, what about yeah. you? Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> we understand but uh -huh. are you gonna answer him what is the question can you can you repeat the question madam what questions where is you from where are you from uh -huh. where are you from yeah he he asked you where are you from i am from san vicente okay <laughs> okay bye <laughs> okay all right thank you very much guys bro. a little a little conversation yeah okay very good okay so the the ending was a little rough there right but but um you guys got the idea now um i like the way jorge you said by the way you said right that 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 that's a very good transition um, so, so that we don't just go straight into the, 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 the small talk, um, words like, or expressions like, by the way, where are you from, blah, 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 or, you know, those, those, that's a, a very smooth way to get into those, talk, into small talk, okay, so, um, that it sounds a little more natural, okay, so very good, very, very good, guys. All right, excellent. Um, so let's move on to the next group. Um, Ismael, Ernesto, and Sandra. Okay, teacher. Hey. Excuse me, where, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending too? Yes, I am. What's the name of the conferences? It's the it's Michael Rodriguez. Oh, are you the conferences of Michael Rodriguez? Mm, I'm not sure. It's first time for me. Oh, me too. What is your number six? Oh, I'm seated in the number 28. Oh, what do you do? My seat is 57. Oh, okay. See you later then. See you later. All right, bravo, bravo. Excellent. That was a very good small talk conversation. That was excellent. It was smooth. Um, you know, we, you had the transitions, that was perfect. And if you notice, you stayed within the topics that were safe, right? You asked about the, the conference, uh, the, speak, the speaker, right, of the conference. You talked about um, the seat number. That's perfect, that's small talk. Um, you know, small talk is, is just basically conversation that really is superficial doesn't get you anywhere but it's it's nice to be able to um say something different to the person right not just a question boom that's it bye right so that's good that was perfect that was that was a very very good example of small talk okay all right um and the last group is Raquel and Vilma. Hello, teacher. Uh, continued the conversation. Okay. Hello, Raquel. Hello. You wait. Excuse me, where is the conference? X on the second floor. Be the away, be the way. Are you attending to? Yes, I am. Do you think? Do you think the water is beautiful? Yes, I did. Okay. Do you like pets? Yes, I like pets. It. It's fine, me too. Nice to see you. It's my fine, me too. 
Tense are the same. Finish, teacher. Okay, very good. Round of applause. Excellent. Okay, so we say by the way. By the way. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. Um, good topics of conversation. The best thing to do with uh, with with topics of small talk is um, keep keep it to one or two uh, topics of conversation for small talk, but like ask a little more questions. Like if you're gonna talk about pets, keep it at pets. Like ask a question, answer, give an opinion, maybe ask another question about pets. Because if we are constantly changing topics, it, it sounds like it, it it sounds like a like a very strange uh, a, a very strange interview. So you're if you're gonna ask about pets, yeah, um, do you have pets? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, how about you? Uh, yeah, I have two two cats. Really? What are your cats' names? Or um, oh, really? Um, I have. Oh, yes, beautiful Ismail. <laughs> very very nice. Um, yeah. So so you can you can yeah. For example, oh, do you have pictures of your cats? Right. So you know, continue that the conversation. Like expand a little bit more on those on those uh, topics. So it doesn't sound so choppy. Does that make sense? Yeah. So very good questions. Just maybe expand a little bit more. Okay, but very good. Excellent. All right. So how do you guys feel about small talk? Do we, under are, do we understand how to make small talk? Do you understand when to make small talk? Do you understand with whom to make small talk? Yes? Yes, miss. I think yes. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right, perfect. So now what we're gonna do, <clears throat> Uh, we're going to do some vocabulary practice of what we have learned in this unit. So please tell me if you can see. Um, can you see my, my PowerPoint? Yes, no, can you see it? Yes, miss, yes, yes, yes. Good. Yes, miss, I'm sorry, Excellent. yes. Okay, so here we have some vocabulary. Uh, this is some of the words that, um, this is some of the words that, um, that we have looked at in this unit. So we have industry, staff, networking, branch, guests, headquarters, small talk, manufacture, personnel, and expertise. Do we remember those words? Yes. Yeah. Do you have any questions about the meaning of those words? No? Okay. Um, no teacher. No? No teacher. No teacher. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is gonna we're gonna find those 10 words in this word search. I found in the one, two, okay. three, four, five, six, Good. seven, eight, nine. In the 10 column. Okay, the... Let, let's do something. Let's do something. I'll give you a few minutes. I'll give everybody a few minutes to try to find the words and then we're going to do it together. Okay, okay. so I'll okay. give you okay. about two minutes, everybody, to try to two find minutes. the words. About two, three minutes, yeah. 
Okay. 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 <laughs> Branch. Expertise. Stop. So. Teacher. Yes. Eh, no le sale completo la sopa de letras ahí como en el libro. Eh, porque abajo está staff, pero no sale. Falta una línea. Mm. Eh, puede ser que sea por la manera como el otro se proyecta. Déjeme ver. Porque se supone que sí se debería de estar completo. Y se ve, Okay, uh, let me let me do it this way. Uh, let's uh, I will present it like this. Better? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Yes, better. Yeah, okay. Okay, are we ready? Can we check? Uh, no, I don't find it too. Headquarters. Okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to do it together because um, also we need um, we need uh, uh, because time is basically catching up to us, so we're gonna do it together. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So let's let's start with the first one. We have industry. Where can I find the word industry? In the ten in the ten column. Okay, remember these. Column. Okay, yeah. So these are columns. The ones just just so that you you know how to give the the, the correct instructions. Um. So the these are. Uh, 
columns going down. These are columns, right? And these are rows. Rows. Yeah. Okay. Rows. So, yeah, I'll, I'll write, write it down. Rows. Okay. And these are columns. In the ten columns. Okay, on the tenth column, you said, right? And uh, one, two, three, and four, three, three row, three, and the three row. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, I, I I love that. I don't know who put that heart, but thank you. <laughs> okay. Um. There we go. Okay, good. Thank you. Staff. In the line de abajo, no sé cómo. In the last row. Okay, oh. the last row. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes, thank you. So the last row we have. Okay, good. All right. Networking. Where's networking? Networking. Mm -hmm. In the second column. And mm -hmm. the in the row number eleven. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> that's um so. Okay, thank you. Thank you for, for pointing that out. Uh, I'm going to just erase it so that I can easily put it. Okay. Um, but, all right, so we have networking. All right. Networking. Good. Thank you. All right, next. We have branch. Branch. Where is branch? In the, yes, that's right. Where is my heart? Your heart's in the branch? Yes. <laughs> okay, all right. So we have branch here, good, okay. <laughs> all right, um, guess. Where is guess? In the second round. Mm -hmm. Eight columns. I Second think. Second row, eight column. Right. Okay. Good. Good. Right here. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Headquarters. Where is the word headquarters? I don't have it. Headquarters. That one should be easy to give me instructions. The last columns. Please. Thank you. Yes, it's the last column. Oh, that's right. Headquarters. Yeah, headquarters right there. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right. And small talk. You guys are familiar with that word, especially today. All Next right. to headquarters. Okay, good. So it's in the second to last column. Okay. Uh, second to last. Yeah, second to last column. Second to last. Yeah, second to last. It's, it's penultima. Penultima. Penultima, penultima. penultima, exactly. Yes, yeah. second, second to last. last. Second to last. Second to last. Mm -hmm. Manufacture. The first column. The first column. Yes. Very good. Okay, thank you. Personnel. The first row. The first row, excellent. Okay, I love how you guys are giving me instructions with rows and columns. Okay, that's how we, we make it we practice our English, right? So in just, instead of just pointing, you can you can tell me first row, second row, uh, third column, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And last one, expertise. Mm -hmm. 
The second row. last. The second row. last row. In the third column. Third column. Good, oh, no. excellent, beautiful. Terrible. So the second to last row, which is over here, and you said the third two, column. Perfect. Two, two, two column. Third column. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, bravo. You guys are bravo. You guys are four. awesome. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, let's clear that. Okay, and. Now I should be able to now show you the complete. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's talk about networking tip. I need a volunteer to help me read about networking tip. Mm -hmm. uh, who can help me? My teacher. Okay, go for it, Sandra. Networking tip, when, not, when networking with people at meetings, conference, association, meeting, or convention, learn to ask interesting information questions to get the conversation going. Change the standard, what do you do for a living, for a more creative question to enrich the human exchange. Like what is for you in your job? What are your daily challenge? Very good. Thank you very much, Sandra. Excellent. Okay. So for networking, this is not small talk. Okay. We're not talking about small talk. Do you remember what networking is? What is networking? Uh, grow the people into um, interesting about the uh, in the in the job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Anything else you can tell me about networking? And a net of contacts and business. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Good. Excellent. So growing your contacts for business and for, uh, also not only for business but also social like socializing, right? So um, yes, so grow it. So growing your contact, um, your contacts, okay? So, so the idea is that to be able to network, first we need to do small talk, right? So first we make the small talk, we get the person feeling more comfortable with us in, you know, and that way we can start asking more in-depth questions. This is where networking starts. Once you've done the small talk, then you can start networking. And how do we network? Well, we start by asking questions. But when we, a tip for networking is don't ask the usual questions like, what do you do for a living? What, by the way, what is that, 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 that question? Can you, can you tell me what that means in Spanish? What do you do for a living? Because I, I need to know that you understand this question first. What do you do for a living? Yes, para vivir. Para vivir. Okay, but is that how? Okay, yeah, exactly. There, that, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Really, Ustedes preguntan, ¿qué haces para vivir? No. No. No, no right? That, okay, so that's no, what we, we can't translate that literally. ¿Qué haces para vivir is not a question that you would ask somebody. So the real in question. Fact, in fact, the question looks like a, uh, seems, uh, it, it seems uh, offensive for the other people. Yeah, exactly. If you do it like that, if you translate it literally in Spanish, you're right. Yeah, it's, yeah. it doesn't sound good. It, it would sound, yeah, a bit offensive. Okay. So in Spanish, really, the question is more like, a que te dedicas? Okay. So that's the equivalent, a que te dedicas? Okay. All right. Yeah, that's okay. You can say, a que te dedicas? But um, that's kind of limiting the question. Because if I, if somebody asks me a qué te dedicas, what am I going to say? I'm an English teacher. Boom, the conversation ends. 
right? I answered yes. you. I answered you the question, but there's nothing more to expand on. But if I change the question, instead of just asking, what do you do for a living? You ask questions like, what inspires you in your job? Oh, okay. Now I can expand my answer. Well, I can say, for example, what inspires you in your job? Can somebody ask me that question? Somebody, anybody in the class can answer that question for me? She goes, just, just ask me. Um, what inspires, inspires you in your, your job? job? Thank you, okay. Well, you know, um, I'm actually an English teacher and um, I've been an English teacher for a while. But something that really inspires me is being able to see how my students um, are able to make progress uh, in, during the class. I can see how uh, the knowledge that I pass on to them really helps them. And they even um, tell me stories of how they have been able to use uh, the uh, the knowledge that they have gained in class in their everyday life and how that has been able to help them to um, get better jobs or uh, better opportunities in their job or in their life. See how that, that question now expands? Instead of just saying, oh, I'm an English teacher. So, so do you see? If you're going to do networking, it's better to make more creative questions instead of just the usual questions, okay? Or another question is, what are your daily challenges? Can somebody ask me about that? What are your daily challenges? Well, you know, I'm an English teacher, so um, I love my job, but of course there's always challenges as in any job. Um, I think one of my, uh, the daily challenges that I face is being able to um, inspire all of my students because of course, everybody has a different um, interest levels, uh, different ways of learning. And so that becomes sometimes a challenge, not only to be able to get to one student, but to ev all, the, all the students in the class. See how it expands? Yeah, instead of just saying, yeah, yeah I'm an English teacher, you get people talking and, and um, expressing themselves. Okay, so do you see how networking can work, right? So don't limit yourself to just the regular everyday questions. Make it more creative questions and you will do better at networking. And this tip is good, not just in English, do it in Spanish too, okay? Try it, try it next time that you try to do, do networking, try it in Spanish and then it'll be super easy in English. Okay. Any questions, guys? <clears throat> questions you want to ask? No? Yes? No? No. No, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay, so now let's uh, go on to this reading. Um, it says, read the article about Ms. Tate's networking experience. Discuss if the questions below are true or false, and then the correct the false state sentences. So we have this, this reading here, and we have the sentences. Allison and Ms. Tate saw each other for the first time last week. True or false? Ms. Tate set a network goal for this year. True or false? 
Allison confessed she hated networking events, true or false. Ms. Tate and, Alice, and Allison passed from small talk to smart talk during lunch, true or false. Ms. Tate Wait, mentioned geez. three benefits of one-on-one -on -one networking meetings, true or false. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to send you, actually, I'm gonna send you the whole, um, the, the whole uh, slide because um, I think it'll be more useful that way. Okay, um, please tell me if you receive it. Yes, teacher, I received the image. Really? I haven't sent it. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah, I oh, haven't sent it. I haven't sent it yet. Hold on. Okay. My 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 sorry teacher. <laughs> I I cut I received oh for you, you I, received I, it. I, from from in my <laughs> okay. I sent imagine. I send them my story. It's okay. So it's okay. I was like, Qué, wow, this is, you know, just lo mando con el pensamiento. <laughs> okay. I, I think in my mind, in, in my money. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Okay. So, guys, um, right now, I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. I just want to make sure that everybody's there. Raquel and Elizabeth, are you there? I'm here. Perfect. Okay. Edith, are you there? Yes. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to make breakout rooms. And I'll give you about um, 10 minutes to read answer if it's true or false the sentences are true or false and if they are false correct them okay so you have to do the three things read answer if it's true or false and if they are true false sorry if they are false change the sentences okay so here we go You have to read and answer the questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I read it and then you can read it and after answer the questions. Uh, Raquel and it's fine so that you don't feel like you're talking to the wall. Maybe you can open up your cameras. Oh, sorry, sorry, I forget it. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that way you can see each other and have better communication, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to read it. Last week, I had lunch with Allison, a new member of my network contact. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year. But we really did, did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I will have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Alison. 
or meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. During the lunch, Alison mentioned, mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said she worried, worried a lot before going to large networking events. I felt surprised and about her and about her expectations for the future. I mm -hmm. gained yes? Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. I gained more than new contact. I pass it from small talk to smart talk. Here's my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch, or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connections with people in the industry. Okay. okay. Um, I understand a lot, of, but uh, try to answer. Alison and Miss States, Alison and, and Miss States saw each other That's for the six, for the week. first time last mm -hmm. week. Yes. Um, False, yes, yes, um, yes. And this is uh, means they set a networking work for these years. It's true or false? Mistakes set a networking work. Yes, yes, it's it's true. It's true. Yes, uh, it is. No, it's no, aquí for these years. This mistake set a networking goal for this year. Okay. Uh, in the number in the number four number one paragraph, I okay. set a goal last year. Oh, mm -hmm. I will have a one on one networking meeting with at least. Okay, it's false. Mm -hmm. In the past, she says she worried a lot before going to learn. Addition confuses she had it. Is true? True. Please. Yes. For me, it's true. I, I, in the, she said she worried a lot before going to large networking events. The question is, uh, Alison confuses she had networking events. Mistake on Alison piece from small talk to smart talk during lunch. Number four. True. Okay.
Number five, mistake, mission three, beneficial one, one. Work immediately. My fit contact meeting. My fit contact meeting was Allison. Mm -hmm. I will have a one a one networking meeting with a class I five think contents and this year. Yes, and just it's true. It's because true. Mr. Tate set a networking work for this year. Yes, really? because because Allison it was the fifty contact. Mm -hmm. I I, well, I I I think fit, it's no true, but fit, fit, fit content. Okay, it's true. Okay, in the third, Allison confessed she hated networking events. She hated networking. Hey, hey. Darling, launch Allison. Mentioned that she was she by nature. She was shy by nature. In the past, she said she worried about to large members. But she a saber con quién estaba. Okay, está la. Number one is false, number two is false, number three is false, number four is true, and number five is true. Is yes. it correct? Okay. Thank you, Asalia. Thank you, Mainita. Okay. It's okay. La, la segunda era true. True. The, the three is uh, false. False. The fourth true. True. The five is true. True. Las últimas dos son true, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. False, true, false, true, So last week I had lunch with Allison, a new member, a new members of my network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other very well. I said go a gold last last year. Um, I will have a one. Los tips que le puede dar para reunirse son tres, Ajá. pero en un momento le dice que haga reuniones individuales. Es falso. You are, you are correct. It's true. It's true that it's false. <laughs> ah, es falso. It's false, yes. The, the, the number four, or what? The number five. Five. Five, five. five is false. Mm. No, no, no. Uh, I think it's true because the the it says try to get to know at least three new people by sharing one on one networking coffee. There are several benefits, benefits of this practice. Are, yes, uh -huh. this practice. I think I think uh, it's, it, true. It's, true. it's true. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, it's it's true. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, are we finished? 
Yes. Okay, perfect. I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Okay. All right, class. Um, so we're going to check the answers. Tell me if you can see. You see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so Allison and Miss Tate saw each other for the first time last week. Is that correct? It's true. It's false. False. It's false. Why? Why is it false? Because the article mentioned that. They saw each other at three seminars over the past year. Good. Okay. So, Allison and Miss Tate um, saw each other. And then we would say here. Saw each other. Saw each other. At, at, at three seminars. Three seminars. Over the past year. Over the past year. Yeah. Okay. All right, any questions about that? Okay, let's go on to the next one. Ms. Tate set a networking goal for this year. I, I think no, but I don't know. I think it's false, but um, I'm not sure. It's false. false. The article says, I set a goal last year. Yeah, she set a goal last year. I will have a once. For what? On once. I she will said, have a. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I would Sorry, have a. Think. Yeah, no, correct. Continue. I will I have would... a once on once networking meeting with athletes new. Five. Five new. Contacts this year. This uh, uh, year. Here's this year. Here says this year, but yeah. I don't so know. he's she set the goal last year. But the goal for last last year was for this year. So she made the goal last year, but the goal was for this year. Does okay. that make sense? <laughs> yes. This yes. Year. So I can, yes, so I, I can, yeah, so I can, I can, I can set a goal in November, for example, and my goal in November is that in 2024, I'm going to do something. So that will be, the goal will be for next year, even if I did it in November of this year. Okay. So, so it's true. Allison confessed she hated networking events. It's false. It's false. It's false. It's false. It's false. Okay, so what did she confess then? She was shy. 
Yeah, exactly. She worried. She, she was shy and she worried, but no, but no hated. Though. No hated. Yeah. Okay, so she confessed. <laughs> Sorry. She confessed. She she was shy by nature and worried a lot before going to large networking events. Okay, so this would be the answer for number three. Okay. Any questions? No questions. Sure, no questions? Sure. No questions. No? Okay, all right. Ms. Tate and Allison passed from small talk to smart talk during lunch. This is true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Very good. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I forgot to circle this one and this one. True. Ms. Tate mentioned three benefits of one on one networking meetings. This is true. I think it's, it's true. true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. You spend yes. your true. You know yeah. was mm -hmm. and well. Right. So one is um, expand your contacts. Two, mm -hmm. expand your contacts. Improve your networking mm -hmm. And third, build meaningful. 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 Meaningful Connections collections. With yeah. people in the so, Very good. Okay. All right. Any so, questions, guys? Yeah. And uh, what do you mean meaningful? Meaningful? So, yes. um, something that has a reason, that is something that it, yeah, it has a reason to be. It's not just, you know, any information. It's something that can be useful for you. That's meaningful. Okay. okay? So if, if it's something you can use, then it's meaningful. Yeah. If it's not something you can use, then it's not meaningful for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So guys, um, I'm going to uh, finish off the class with our um attendance so please everybody i need um your cameras on so everybody that doesn't have cameras on can you please turn them on sarah rachel raquel edith All right, wonderful. Hmm. Okay, um, let's start. Uh, Ana Victoria. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Asalia Melanie. Present teacher. Excellent. Carlos Alberto Re Orrego. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Carlos Elise Divas. Carlos Elicer. Ah, que se creo que se desconectó. Um, Denise Alejandra. I'm here. Wonderful. Diana Jamilet. Diana. ¿Está Diana? Okay. Pero vea que Diana estaba antes. Sí, ¿verdad? Está. 
Okay, Edith Adilia. Present. Wonderful. Emerson Adiel. Emerson Adiel. Okay. Ismael Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Jorge Ernesto. Present teacher. Marlon Daniel. Present. Eh, María Elizabeth. I'm here, teacher Leslie. Okay, very good. María Elizabeth, sorry, uh, Raquel Elizabeth. Present. Excellent. Um, Sandra Yvette. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Sara Rachel. Sara Rachel. Present, teacher. Beautiful. Uh, Sergio Chamorro. Present teacher. Great. And Vilma Elizabeth. Present teacher. All right. Excellent. Okay. So I will stay only with uh, Marlon and everybody else. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. So take care, everybody, and have a good evening. Okay, good Miss. Good night, everyone. Everything, everyone. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. See you. See you later. Bye bye. Bye, Mayra. Bye, Miss. Bye bye. Take care. Okay. Hello, Marlon. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Oh, good, good, excellent. Okay. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo, cómo vamos ahí eh, con las clases, Marlon? ¿Cómo sentimos? Um, voy respondiendo unas palabras que me puedan en inglés, me parece. Um, so, so, I, I go to the, the class. I, bueno, eh, estoy aprendiendo ciertas palabras. Eh, my English is basic, very basic. Um, eh, to listen uh, pronunciation um uh, write is difficult for me mm -hmm. um vamos. <laughs> okay okay eh, muy bien hay unas cosas que sí sí me cuestan bastante pero siento que, que me está ayudando bastante o sea como usted dijo al, al principio Capaz no, puedo, no domino el inglés, no lo entiendo, pero poco a poco nuestro oído se va como educando. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahora cuando ya usted dice una, una palabra o, o algo, capaz uh -huh. no entiendo todas las frases, pero al entender una palabra yo ya uh -huh. interpreto lo que quiere decir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero sí. Excelente, excelente. Muy bien, Marlon. Me alegra muchísimo escuchar eso. Um, déjenme felicitarlo porque ha estado constante en la clase. Um, a pesar que yo sé que al principio pues estaba un poquito nervioso y frustrado, quizás, pero no sé. Pero pues no se dio por vencido. Eh, continuó y ha estado constante. Y esa constancia es la... Eh, o oh, el fruto, me ha dicho, eh, lo que usted está mencionando ahorita es el fruto de esa constancia, ¿verdad? El hecho que usted se mantenga siempre conectado, que trate de conectarse a tiempo, y uh, eso, es, eso es lo que ha permitido que usted vaya avanzando. Entonces, eh, quizás usted... Um, Tal vez usted dice, no, yo todavía no entiendo todo, pero es que no se preocupe porque nadie en la clase entiende todo. Sí, eh, el problema en sí es que eh, yo empecé como un curso privado, uh -huh. tomar clases de inglés, y, y en las clases en se empieza como con los tiempos gramaticales y todo eso. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí me aprendí unos, otros que medio los entiendo, y otros que de plano no los entiendo. Entonces, okay. capaz, eh, tengo ciertas palabras que me las puedo, pero los conectores y los verbos, cómo conjugarlos, was, where, 
eh, dudas, eh, todo eso así, uh -huh. como que me tienden a, a, a confundir. Okay. Entonces, es que ahí es donde se me genera como la confusión y digo, ¿cuál uso? ¿O en qué momento lo uso? Okay. Entonces, es algo que, que estoy eh, tratando de, de, de entender, más que todo los, el fin de semana. De hecho, acá en la parmilla tengo un libro que es básico, uh -huh. que ese es de una academia, ni por si sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, ese está en básico, básico 1 y 2, dice. Entonces, aquí están como los, los tiempos, verbos, uh -huh. y, y como tareas. Entonces, ahí voy tratando de, de hacerlas. Ok. Para, para ir entendiéndolas. O sea, Muy estoy bien. como tratando de, de dar el, ese pasito más. Ok, excelente. Uh, tal, vez no, tal vez no entenderlo ahorita, pero más después ya voy a ir como que agarrándole el hilo y le voy a entender. Por supuesto que sí. Uh, muy bien, excelente. Um, y entonces, en comparación con la primera semana, que creo, si no me equivoco, fue como el segundo día de clase que hablamos, no sé si se acuerda. ¿Sí? Que, ¿Sí? que me metí del grupo y entonces empezamos a hablar, ¿verdad? Y usted mencionaba que estaba como bastante eh, preocupado, ¿verdad? Porque la, la clase era completamente en inglés. ¿Se acuerda? Sí, 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 sí okay. recuerdo. Eh, ¿Cómo se siente usted eh, ahora en comparación de ese día? Eh, sí, siento la diferencia porque ya tengo mayor interacción. Uh -huh. Eh, no tengo miedo de equivocarme <coughs> ahora. De hecho, Excelente. cuando iniciamos la clase, yo estaba todo nervioso porque recién había venido. De hecho, ni me he quitado mi error porque había un tráfico horrible, venía corriendo, no traía carga, me estaban gritando acá. Entonces, como que colapsé. Uh -huh. Entonces, pero me quedé como, e incluso le dije, no entiendo. Uh -huh. No entiendo. Sara, mi compañera, que también está acá, me dijo, que si estás enfermo, y, y aún así yo no, le, no, no, no me enfocaba, pero no sentía la pena de que no le entiendo o no sé qué me está preguntando. Uh -huh. Entonces me quedé ahí, y al, al día después cuando iba con usted ese sugesto de, de dolor de cabeza, todo eso, ah, alguien me está preguntando que si estoy enfermo, y yo, no, no, no estoy enfermo. Entonces, al principio sí me daba como temor eh, equivocarme, uh -huh. por la razón de que si sí, es cierto, no todos entienden el inglés al 100%, uh -huh. pero la mayoría de los que estamos ahí, bueno, de los que están ahí, uh -huh. lo, lo hablan y, y, tienen las, y forman la idea. Uh -huh. En cambio, no, a mí me falta eso. Pero sí, o sea, no me da temor como equivocarme. Si me equivoco, pues ok, me equivoqué. Y luego viene la corrección. Pero sí, siento el cambio. Excelente, me, me alegro muchísimo escuchar eso. Y sabe que eso que me acaba de decir de que no tiene temor a equivocarse, ese es el primer paso para poder tener éxito. Eso, sí. es eso. La mayoría de las personas no, no pueden lograr llegar a ese punto. Y no sí. estoy hablando de solo en inglés, estoy hablando en el, la vida. Eh, lo que pasa es que... Eh, bueno, uno de los de, fuertes en mi personalidad es que siempre mi autoestima es como bastante alto y uh -huh. tal vez al principio como que me cuesta despegar, pero cuando despego ya no aterrizo, me quedo arriba y, y entonces como que... Excelente. Ah, okay. Bueno, no okay. pasa nada. Okay. Excelente. Muy bien. Y eso es una, una, una buena actitud que tener ante la vida. Pero entonces, qué bueno que usted eh, esté trabajando eh, y haya trabajado y siga trabajando en esa característica porque um, eso es, es, es muy importante para poder um, llegar a donde usted quiere en la vida. Entonces, um, qué bueno, excelente, la, lo felicito. Y eso de, de, no de, de no tener miedo de equivocarse eh, va a significar de que usted... Um, Va a cometer errores, pero ya no va a ver esos errores como obstáculos, sino que como lecciones de aprendizaje. Sí. ¿Verdad? Y eso es lo más importante. 
Ahora, usted mencionó de que estaba teniendo problemas ahí para eh, distinguir, por ejemplo, en, uh, cuando usar el am, is, are, do, does. Eh, mi pregunta es la siguiente. ¿Qué sí es lo que le está costando? Poder identificar eh, cuál es el tiempo que usar con is, are, am, uh, do, or does, o saber sí. cuándo usar el, el verbo to be y cuándo usar el verbo to. Eh, be, creo, creo, creo que es como una mezcla de ambas. Eh, mm -hmm. lo, como le digo, los, los tiempos, no los mm -hmm. domino, no los domino todos. Por ejemplo, eh, el will, eh, ese para mí es bastante fácil, porque creo que es una acción que es lo que, que vamos a hacer. Uh -huh. I will play, uh -huh. no estoy mal. Entonces, pero eh, es como a futuro, son como acciones que no ocurrentemente las, las hacemos, sino que eh, en sí lo, los tiempos se me complican porque no los no lo domino al, al 100%. Y ahí es donde me genera la duda si lo puedo utilizar o no lo puedo utilizar. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, hay, como le digo, hay palabras que si yo las entiendo eh, y, y solo con, con entender una palabra yo, puedo, yo logro interpretar cierta la frase, tal vez no específicamente lo que dice, pero sí, sí entiendo a lo que se refiere. Uh -huh. pero, okay. pero sí. Serían los, los, prácticamente son los tiempos los que a mí me, me... Creo que los tiempos es como la, la base para entender okay. el, el inglés. Vaya, ok. Primeramente, ¿de dónde viene el verbo? Eh, ¿De dónde viene is, are, am? ¿Cuál, uh, es, ¿Cuál es el verbo? Ay, ya me perdí. Perdón, perdón. Ok. Is, are, am... ¿Son los, la estructura de qué, de qué verbo? Oh, me poncho. Ok. Am, ok, so. Is, are, am. Esos tres formas vienen okay. de qué verbo? El... Dance, eat, sleep. Ok. ¿Qué, ¿Qué verbo? Es el verbo que es el más común que... Pero que ese, todo... ese es el verbo to be. Eso. Muy bien. Excelente. El verbo to be. ¿Y el verbo to be qué significa en español? Ser o estar. Ser o estar. Muy bien. Entonces, ¿para qué se usa el verbo to be? Se utiliza para varias cosas. Por ejemplo, para hablar acerca de profesiones que hemos estado viendo. ¿Verdad? ¿Ya? Y igual en español, yo soy una profesora, eh, Él es doctor. Ella es uh, dentista. Nosotros somos eh, estudiantes, etcétera, etcétera. ¿verdad? Entonces, lo mismo en inglés. I am an English teacher. He is a doctor. She is a dentist. We are students. ¿Ok? Okay. Um, también lo podemos utilizar para hablar acerca de, eh, de cuántos años tenemos, ¿verdad? I am, I am 30 years old, I am 25 years old, she is 19 years old, they are 40 years old, etcétera, etcétera. ¿Ok? okay. Se puede utilizar para la, hablar acerca de nacionalidades como I am... Eh, uh, Salvadoran, she is Argentinian, they are um, American, we are Japanese, etc., etc., y muchas, muchas otras cosas más. ¿Ok? Ok. Ahora, cuando hacemos preguntas en que utilizamos ese verbo to be, vamos a poner is, are, am al principio. Por ejemplo, Marlon, are you a doctor? No. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Va a decir, ok, muy bien. Eh, entonces, uh, utilizamos el verbo to be. Are, are you, is she, uh, am I, etcétera, etcétera. ¿Sí? Sí. 
Y esas preguntas van a ser todas sí o no. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Um, yes, we are. No, we aren't. Ok. ¿Estamos okay. claros? Sí. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, eso es esos, um, el verbo to be. Normalmente lo vamos a utilizar como adjetivos. Como, eh, igual en español, yo soy salvadoreña. Es un adjetivo, salvadoreña. Ok. Um, él es alto. He is tall. They are beautiful. Ellos son bonitos. Etcétera, etcétera. Ok. okay. Eh, ahora, si usamos otro verbo, cualquier otro verbo, eat, sleep, dance, play, read, write, etcétera, etcétera. Entonces, ahí sí ya no vamos a usar el verbo to be. Porque no podemos poner el verbo to be con otro verbo. Sí, eso, por ejemplo, si diría, si pongo I am travel, sería yo, yo soy viaje. Ajá, o soy, yo soy viajar. Sí, o yo soy... El... No tiene sentido, ¿verdad? No. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Entonces, por eso ya no vamos a usar el verbo to be. Ahora... Okay. Si vamos a usar preguntas, si hacemos preguntas, eh, por ejemplo, um, tú viajas, tú viajas, entonces no podemos, ahí se te necesitamos un auxiliar con el, con el verbo viajar, pero no podemos usar el, el, el auxiliar be. Okay. Entonces, en ese caso, vamos a usar el do or does. Ok. Entonces ahí va a ser, do you travel? Do you work? Do we play soccer? Eh, this, do we play soccer every week? Um, does he play an instrument? Does she work in the supermarket, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Porque okay. ahí estamos usando verbo, otro verbo que no son el verbo to be. ¿El ¿Cuál es el verbo base? Eh, los verbos base serían, eh, sí, o sea, cuando, Del, cuando usamos el do or does. Base, y usaríamos el, el do como do does como, como auxiliar. Mm -hmm. Exacto, así es. Ok. ¿Le sí. queda más claro ahora? Sí, sí, sí. ¿Sí? Claro. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Ok, perfecto. ¿Hay alguna otra cosa con la que yo le pueda ayudar? Eh, yo solo tenía una pregunta. Uh -huh. es de, del, del texto que estábamos eh, eh, escribiendo, si era falso o verdadero. Y es que hay una frase que dice, once on one. Eh, la pregunta es, no sé si estoy mal, pero en mi trabajo eh, hay ciertas compañeras que, que hablan el inglés, que tratan con personas de, de los Estados Unidos uh -huh. por, por cuestiones laborales. Uh -huh. Entonces, pero una vez me llamó la atención y ahora que lo veo acá, que ella mencionó, fue un tema ya netamente interno, uh -huh. que ella dijo, digámosle al jefe que tengamos un one to one, o sea... Y ella dijo, one to one es como una conversación eh, frente a frente. Si uh -huh. no es... Entonces, tenía la, 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 pregunta, la, la, la duda, si es lo mismo lo que estoy leyendo acá a lo que mi compañera en ese momento se refería. Si usted se lo... ¿Se, lo eh, ¿se está hablando de lo que estamos teniendo en, en este momento? Ajá. Sí. Por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Sí, yeah, one to one meeting. Eh, one, yeah, one to one meeting sería eh, una conversación oh, que en, en la que eh, estamos, tenemos la oportunidad de hablar directamente con la persona. Ah, ok. Ah, es, que, es que por la pronunciación que, que la compañera hizo, como one to one. Ajá. Entonces, es one, one. Bueno, o, o sea, one, uh -huh. one on one. 
Sí, se puede decir las dos formas. Okay. Oh, okay. One to one or one on one. Okay. okay las dos formas están correctas. Okay. En, en realidad, bueno, técnicamente realmente para poder escribirlo es así en realidad. Porque yo entiendo es... que yo entiendo que el inglés tiene como unas partes que son como palabras para usarlas como más profesionales o por decirlo así como más sí más profesionales y la otra como más más básico como una conversación entre amigos todo eso no uh -huh. aplica esa frase ahí o sea, es... uh... No necesariamente. Uh, one to one lo podemos utilizar en, en un ambiente uh, de negocio, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, sí, no hay problema. Ok, okay. sí. Esa es, era como mi, mi espinita que dije, ¿será lo mismo? Sí, ajá. Entonces, si usted puede notar en el chat, <coughs> en, le escribí ahí con, con guion, guiones. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, porque en realidad es una sola palabra. One to one or one on one es una sola palabra que es compuesta, entonces por eso la unimos con guiones. Ah, ok. 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 Sí. Ok. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Uh, no. No. Es todo. no. Ok. Bueno, entonces cualquier cosa, Marlon, siempre acuérdese que me puede escribir. Y yo con gusto le puedo ayudar. Ok, gracias. Ok, bueno, pues entonces cuídese y bueno. descanse. Gracias. Ok, bye bye. Bye bye.